Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters and welcome to the 17th clip of this month of Ramadan. In this clip we're going to delve into verse number 2 from Surah Al-Hajj. So this verse of the Quran is giving us a description of what's going to take place on Yawmul Qiyamah. And similar to some of the other descriptions that we find in the verses of the Quran, this description of Qiyamah is one that would naturally frighten us, it would scare us. So the Quran talks about how on this day, the events that take place are so frightening that even a mother who is carrying her child with her, even a mother who is nursing her own child, will forget about her child. And this obviously tells you what you can imagine uh, with regards to the incidents and the events that are taking place on that day. So the verse says this, Ya yuhannas, ittaqu rabbakum inna zalzalat as-sa'ati shay'un adim. O people, be fearful and be aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the earthquake of the day of judgment is very, very big. And then the Quran gives this description, يَوْمَ تَرَوْنَهَا The day you see it, تَذْهَلُ كُلُّ مُرْضِعَةٍ عَمَّا أَرْضَعَةٍ On that day, if there is a woman who is feeding her child, and naturally when a mother is in this state, all of her attention is towards the child. This is why the Quran is using this moment as an analogy. Even if there is a mother who's carrying her child with her, with her this mother will tadhalo, she will forget about this child. Yes? And it's so frightening that the one who has a child in the in the stomach could potentially have to have this child uh, you know leave the womb. So the Quran is giving this description of what's going to happen on the day of judgment. The point that we want to focus on, however, are not these descriptions of the Qur'an by themselves. It's wrong to look at the verses of the Qur'an and the descriptions of the Qur'an only from one aspect, meaning that we only look at some verses of the Qur'an and we make up our mind about how the Qur'an is describing Yawmul Qiyamah. If you go back just a little bit back, and if you have a Qur'an in your hand, you'll see it's just a couple of pages earlier. At the end of Surah Al-Anbiya, verse 102 and 103, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about those who show up on the Day of Judgment and it seems as though not only are they not going through a tough time, not only do they not witness other people going through a hard time, in fact they do not even hear the sound of hellfire. They do not even hear the sound of those, those frightening things that are happening on the Day of Judgment. So this gives us two completely different understandings of the Day of Judgment because on one hand, the Qur'an says, yes, this happens and that happens and a mother who's feeding her child will forget about the child. On the other hand, the Qur'an says, لا يسمعون حسيسها وهم في مشتهت أنفسهم خالدون They will not be hearing the, the sound of the hellfire. لا يحزنهم الفزع الأكبر On that day, the frighten of that day or the fear of that day will not affect them. And in fact, the Malaika will say, وَتَتَلَقَّاهُمُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ هَذَا يَوْمُكُمُ الَّذِي كُنْتُمْ تُوْعَدُونَ The angels will come to these individuals and say, this is that day that you were promised. Meaning that this is that day you were looking forward to. So which Qiyamah is the Qiyamah that the Qur'an is talking about? And the reality is, the reality of Qiyamah depends on the reality of the individual. For some people, the reality of Qiyamah is going to be very scary and frightening. For some people, no, it might be the exact opposite of it. That's why we read in the verses of the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَلَا إِنَّ أَوْلِيَاءَ اللَّهِ لَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ They have nothing to worry about. So it's not that Qiyamah is scary in and of itself, it is scary for the one who has not prepared himself. Otherwise, you look at other descriptions of the Qur'an of the same Yawm Al-Qiyamah and what happens after Yawm Al-Qiyamah, you find that it's not scary at all, it's the exact opposite of it. So this is important to understand, especially when we teach our children and we talk to our children about Qiyamah, that it's not scary for everyone, yes. For the one who leaves this world with sins without repenting, for the one who rejects the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fundamentally, yes, that day is definitely a difficult day. Yes, this is why the Quran says, Yawma idin, or rather that day, Yawmun ala al kafirina asir. It's difficult upon the kafirin, upon those who rejected the message of Allah.